Hi, this is Jay Whitaker with Pandoit. This video shows how to create batch port labels using the EasyMark data import tool. To begin creating patch cord labels, first go to an Excel spreadsheet and create two columns of information. Uh, in this case, we're going to uh, define the uh, cabinet location and the uh, panel location and the first port. And from here, we can just create the other uh, ports in that grouping. And then our uh, far end connection will define again uh, a different cabinet and uh, panel. And then the uh, series of uh, ports that will be on the far end. Okay, so we've created a set of uh, <clears throat> 12 ports connecting to another set of 12 ports in a different cabinet. We're going to go ahead and save that information. And then we're going to go into EasyMark, uh, create a new document, and uh, we've got our label format uh, opened up. This is a turntail format. I'll click on the first label and go to the uh, data import tool. Uh, this is the icon for the data import. You can also access that from tools and then data import. From here, we want to navigate to uh, the location for the Excel spreadsheet that we saved. Uh, go ahead and open that spreadsheet. And we have a representation of what the data that's in that spreadsheet. We're going to click uh, on More. And we want to combine these two columns uh, for import. We're going to put a separator in there. And then we want to have one column per line on the label. So then I click OK. Then EasyMark imports that information from the data from the, data from the um, Excel spreadsheet. So we have uh, the first information in the first column and then the information in the second column with a separator between. So that will give us labels for the, uh, the near end cabinet. Now to create labels for the far end cabinet, we're going to go back to the data import tool. Again, navigate to the location for the file. Open that file. This time we're going to drag column A to the right of column B. We want to go into more again, combine columns for import. Add a column separator, and then check one column per line in the label. Click OK. And then this time, you see we have the information reversed uh, for the labels that are going to be on the patch cords in the far end uh, cabinet. At this point, you can save the information, or you can go and print labels. For more information about EasyMark, please go to pandoit.com.